Hey guys, today we're going to show you a really cool DIY. The Newton's Cradle is the device to demonstrate the conservation of energy and the conservation of the momentum. Let me show you how it works. Welcome to Ryan's world. So, when you make this wall go here and bounce into the other ones, the energy will actually pass through these walls in the middle and hit the one on the other side. Watch. Whoa! Want to learn how to make your own new ins cradle? What? We can make this on our own? Uh huh. Roll the clip. Oh, this experiment requires very precise measurements. Just a little, uh, a little bit more. Steady. Drop everything, Bree. We have a new experiment to build for Ryan. How cool! Peck super secret blueprints? Oh, let's check it out! Blueprints! <laughs> They're blue! Get it? Oh, wow! The actual blueprint paper is blue. A Newton's Cradle! Uh-huh, okay. I see. You know, Peck, this actually looks pretty simple, and I'm pretty sure we can find everything we need just lying around the office. While you gather materials, I will conduct research! All right, I'll be back in a flash. Woohoo! <laughs> Ten minutes later. Ooh, these materials are perfect! Oh, great! But, uh, where do we get started? We start with the base! Oh, excellent idea, Peck! Let's build our base! <gasps> now, when using things like scissors or hot glue, make sure to ask an adult for help. So we're gonna be really careful when cutting our popsicle sticks down into little tiny squares, just like that. Now once we have our squares like this, it's time to start on the bottom of our base. Now for the bottom of my base, I'm gonna use these bright yellow popsicle sticks. Now very carefully, we're gonna glue our popsicle sticks together. And now we're gonna hold it in place until it dries. And next, we're gonna put hot glue on two sides of our support square, very carefully. Now we're going to attach it to our frame very carefully and hold it in place until that dries. This is going to make sure that our frame is nice and sturdy. So now that we have one corner glued together, we've just got three more to go. Let's get to work. So now that we have all four of our sides glued together, we're gonna put in our squares. You know what's next? We're gonna add more popsicle sticks to further our support. Glue down on each of our squares. One, two, three, four, and add in our popsicle sticks. That should be good and sturdy. So now that we have our base finished, it's just time to add the sides, and then we're gonna have to build a top. We should get to work. We are going to add one blue popsicle stick to each corner of our base. Now we need to make sure that everything glues straight up and down. Like that, that looks good. Important part the individual pendulums. Right, and for that, we can use marbles and string. So we cut our string down to size. Now we're going to find the middle and glue it to the top of our marble. One little dab of glue should be more than enough. And now our marble is nice and dry and ready to act as our pendulum. And now we're going to do this for the rest of our marbles. Kinda looks like a marble necklace. The pendulum marbles are ready for assembling the Newton's Cradle. All right, we're gonna attach our first marble pendulum in the very center. 
So we need to make sure it's good and centered and nice and straight. And then we're going to hold it in place for the time being with a piece of tape. So let's see on that side. Hold it in place like that. All right, now let's place the rest. All right, and the last one is in place and we're finished. What do you think, Peck? 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 I don't know where Peck is, but maybe we could sneak in a test before he gets back. No. <clears throat> oh, there you are, Peck. Uh, I, I was just uh, finishing up and uh, waiting for you to test it out. <laughs> what, do, what do you think? It looks great. I can wait to see it in action. All right, let's test it out. Thank you for watching. Remember, always stay happy and rise up.